Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Here back in action after that eclipse break on our Monday elaboration videos. This week's prompt is distorted gestures. I know I said stretchy figures or something like that in class, but I feel like this is maybe a little more accurate. So to remind everyone, we're talking about the uh, tendency to to distort or stretch or exaggerate figures instead of doing them, let's call it classically, or instead of doing them in a way that is um, that is meant to reinforce normal proportions, quote, accurate proportions. And particularly, we would do this because it carries a little bit of additional expressive uh, force. So by stretching out these figures, the par Parmigianino, it's kind of a hard name to pronounce, uh, notice the baby Jesus is very elongated and the neck of the Madonna, in fact, I think the title of this painting is Madonna with a Long Neck, is to give that kind of um, sort of surreal almost, almost eerie sense. Same with the El Greco. There's some, you know, remember, this is this predates the official... Uh, idea of romanticism when we look back in art history and we kind of name everything and put it in different chapters and stuff like that th there hadn't been something that we would call romanticism so in a lot of ways this got retrofitted into art history once we did get romanticism and we once we started talking particularly kind of in the 19th century talking about romanticism with a capital r that these artists sort of came back into the story a little bit because of you know because they did what they did with their stretchy, elongated figures. And so in class, we've been looking at this side-by-side -side image. Uh, the obvious academic tendency is to try to be as accurate as possible, which is great when you're learning how to paint. But a, a lot of us, I'll include myself in this statement, a lot of us kind of got stuck there in that academicism at the expense of our more expressionistic tendencies or more expressionistic interests, um, desires, those sorts of things that, that uh, there are many artists. In fact, I would make this claim that most of what we call art history is not accurate and it's not classical. Um, there are stages where, you know, obviously the Greeks and the Romans, but even inside the Greeks and the Romans, there's some stuff that's a little stretchy and bendy, um, this is obviously not Greek or Roman. This is modern Giacometti. But uh, there's something very expressive about this, quote, inaccuracy and, and badly proportioned or just inaccurately. We don't have to call them bad. Uh, inaccurately proportioned figures that gives us a little bit of extra uh, punch a little bit more emotional force. And the great master, we talked about this in Wednesday's class, the great master of this is the American illustrator, Norman Rockwell. And so here's here's a Bonard that he often would stretch out his figures. And in fact, I would imagine Bonard was had zero interest in any kind of proportional accuracy in his figures, nor was he maybe even trying to stretch them for expressionistic effect. He just, that's how he drew figures. So I have a quick little demo. I mean, it's very quick. Thanks to Gesture Drawing Party, the YouTube channel. I, I highly recommend that you check it out. They have lots of great poses on there. And so I use, I grabbed this pose from Gesture Drawing Party. And this image I've done first is kind of the way you'd normally set it up. You know, it's fairly accurate. Notice, <laughs> I'm scratching that out. Fairly accurate proportions with the idea being that that accuracy is good. So the way that I do this when I'm trying to stretch out my figures, particularly back when I was an illustrator, I would have a little more reason to do this. Uh, I think of it kind of like an armature, but it's a really stretchy armature where in this case, that bottom half of the right leg is kind of just as long as the torso. And the arms are really stretched along. So when I start something, and in fact, this is kind of true of any sort of shape gesture. So say you're just painting a tree or you're painting a, a cloud. 
or something like that, that if you set up an armature ahead of time, that kind of forces you into a different interpretation here. I think I got the calf a little thick there. There we go. Thin that out. Um, forces you to interpret it along those lines, literally along those lines. It's, it's a little more natural and it's a little less of a wrestling match to try to get those elegant, stretchy, distorted figure lines. So that's how I approach it. Uh, I, I learned from my teacher's name was Jacques Deveau, very good name for a figure drawing teacher, to set up this kind of gesture ahead of time. He was not, at least in my class, a fan of any kind of exaggeration or distortion, but he loved gesture. And so he, this is kind of a modified variation on the things he taught me about get the head in place, get the rib cage, get the pelvis, and then he called those tapered tubes, let the rest of the figure, the, the appendages and limbs be these kind of tubes and then you place the muscles and fat onto those tubes and so in this little sketch and i admit it's a quick one and it's not uh not my greatest sketch i've ever done but hey whatever it's good enough for what we're talking about that that <clears throat> i set out ahead of time to really stretch her out and then i just sort of filled in around that the more stretchy uh you know, it's it's almost cartoonish, I guess, in a sense, but often I try to do my demonstrations a little over the top just for the sake of of uh, making my point. But that's the idea, is that it is a, uh, it's almost like a stick figure, like a very stretched out version of a stick figure that you do first, you allow that big stretchy stick figure to happen first, and then... Uh, you just add the rest of the parts onto it later, as opposed to the normal way that you would do it, where you measure kind of with the end of your brush, try to get your proportions correct, and then you fill it in almost from the outside in, um, where you you draw the parameters of the figure. I have a hard time being really gestural when I operate uh, in that in that mode. And so, if you're out there in YouTube land and and you happen to stumble across this, we have a Wednesday class, 52 Art Rules and How to Break Them. This is one of those. This week's rule was uh, accuracy in human proportions and how fun it is and how expressive it is to break that rule. And I also, coming right up, I have a uh, April 22nd, 29th, 2024, Simple is Not Easy class that uh, is pretty full. It's just about filled up, but if you are out there and you're interested, check out winslowartcenter.com for information on those classes. So we'll see the rest of you in class Wednesday.